and gentlemen, welcome to 907 Presents Painful Reckoning. And this world ain't bright, won't accept it. Negative energy, I expect it. Once it's in your mind, it's infectious. Cause when there's no legs, it'll kill when I'm desperate. Welcome to 907 Pro Wrestling in the Arctic Rec Center. This is Painful Reckoning. Uh, I am the Captain Wrestle Ariel. Back at you here, soon to be joined by my partner, Donald Clark. Shut your mouth, Captain. What? I am the giver, Jerry Bishop, the 907 Pro Wrestling Champion. I decided to show up once again and do some commentary on this. Oh, what, what the hell are you doing? I'm the champion. You will address me as champ. Shut your mouth. Do your role, skipper. Who we got coming out now? Well, we have Bark, one of the up and coming tag teams oh, not of 907 Pro Wrestling. I wouldn't underestimate them, champ. They're, They're under very hard workers and got huge heart. Do you remember anything about heart? No. I know this much. I know if there's any tag team that has heart at 907, it is the Inquisition, it is the great. Theric, Divine, and Deacon Christopher, followed by the returning Reverend. Oh, he's not a Reverend. I don't even know his professional title. I don't think that they've even announced it. The uh, ev Evangelical Roy Lovejoy. Hey, oh, uh, hey, Jerry Bishop here. Hey, also. Donnie, we got, a, we, got a, we got a visitor. Hi, there's a uh, sort of progressing champion, the giver, Jerry Bishop. Uh, joining in again. Oh, starting things off as uh, Bobcat, one of the the bright spots of 907 Pro Wrestling fan favorite, uh, getting third divine right down the right. Oh, but switched into a pin to no avail. Two count. I have never seen Bobcat come into a match with this much tenacity. He must be looking for the cobbler. That's that's what Bobcat wants. Oh, you mean that Mama, Mama, Mama Divine Cobbler? Yep. I mean, you know, everyone gets that Divine Cobbler except for uh, a stick, you know? It's, uh, it's kind of weird. I got two pieces. I, I got two as well. It was delicious. Uh, Bobcat, though, real swift moves from the uh, the, the headmaster of Bard uh, right into a, right an arm bar. There is no match for the wrestlers on high, though. I'll tell you that. Oh, no. Get this Here idiot out go. the ring. This is Here one of my favorite go. wrestlers. Taekwon Fro now in the mix. Such great teamwork from these two. Master and pupil. Oh, oh big, big team up. Nobody wants to see the shushing, all right? Get the Taekwon Fro idiot out the ring. I believe it's actually put, not put out sheesh. Well, I think it's more like sheep, because that's what all these parasites are that cheer for Bard. They need to be supporting the wrestlers on high. And one of the best things we've seen for Taekwon Fro since teaming up with Bobcat is his skills and just the, the basic uh, wrestling maneuvers have become so much more crisp. He looks so much better since becoming a part of Bard. Look at that cheap shot. What is that? Oh, a huge crossbox by him. By Bobcat. Over the bed. No avail. Two count. We're having a lot of trouble in the early match, the early parts of this match with Bard. Definitely got to get Deacon in there. Oh, get some space between him and Bobcat with a quick punch to the throat. Keep him away from Lovejoy. There you go. Here comes the Deacon. There's the Deacon's punch. 
Deacon Christopher, all of his moves have been blessed by God, so they're better than yours. Uh, and that's why they're the deacons. Hey, the wrestlers on high, get it right. Here comes the deacons pin. Oh, arrogance. The deacons, a little too much arrogance. The deacons kick right there. Mm -hmm. The deacons casual pin that has never worked. So I think, you know, maybe we think that one. Again, deacons casual pin. Oh, Bobcat I'm much like Lazarus. Hey. Bobcat has risen. I will tell you right now, Roy Lovejoy has been studying the scripture. His men are ready for this. They have been studying the scripture of the wrestlers on high. And watch this move right here. He learned this in the book of Kowalski 912. But did, did it say the guy's going to move out of the way? Because that was a Bobcat kick right there. Oh! Big kick by Bobcat. Bobcat with the cover. Oh, almost had him. Well, they're looking good in this match. You know, they've come... They, they've... Had a lot of matches recently, Ooh. not been successful. This might be their their time this uh, this month. A little bit of trip up there, and uh, going back to uh, what they do best: wrestlers on high, uh, going for the double team. I believe that's the Deacon's illegal chokehold. You know, the kid from the Deacon. No, the, the wrestlers on high. They also know about the tag team. Stuff, okay. Oh, oh exactly. That Inqu right there. Inquisition. That's from the book of Eaton 9, 914. The Inquisition almost decapitating uh, Bobcat there. Deacon's leg drop. Deacon just calculating these moves on Bobcat onto the hardest part of the ring. De Bobcat's in a lot of trouble, taking a lot of punishment to the upper body and to the throat area. Look at Lovejoy on the outside, looking at his watch. He knows they're going to make short work of these clowns. I don't think Deacon uh, spent a little too much time talking to the audience rather than uh, focusing on his opponent. You can't not count Bobcat uh, McDillon out. You can't. Yeah, you can. He can snap, Mare. He can now, with a kick right to the back, a little receipt for Bobcat from previously. Now we've got, it looks like, the Deacon's cravat. Bobcat's got to get, uh, he's got to tag in Taekwon Pro. Oof! Rough, um, uh, rough snapmare there, uh, to Bobcat. That's first hitting 814. Still alive! It was perfect. Absolutely. Bobcat desperately needs to crawl over, get over to get throw in there, just like you said, Cap. But now we can see, uh, Deacon, uh, John oh. with a, with the ref. Maybe a bit too much, giving Bobcat a little time to recover. Every time we see Deacon in the ring, he is so calculating. You know, he, um, or sometimes that gets him in trouble, just like this. Because Bobcat flashes oh, him in a, in a, in a, in a, oh, a bar, I think. Get, to, get in there, Derek, get in there, break it oh. up. Only it thing, everything Reverend could do, Bobcat had him all tied up. What know, a, what's it called, the weasel trap? <laughs> Rev from the second oh, row, knuckles from the top. Reverend now, in, Inquisition now in full control of this match. Bobcat in a lot of trouble. You can see uh, Theric has a little bit of more better presence. Doesn't waste a whole lot of time, stays on his opponent. And he's been known to get cocky a little bit. See, and this is why he is not, he doesn't get to have uh, Mama Divine's Peach Cobbler. Oh my goodness. Because he cheats. Well. Roy Lovejoy just trying to help out Bobcat. He's trying to try to coach him, try to give him some advice. He's trying to put hands on him. You think so? What do you think he was telling him in that moment? To just Pam. give up and quit. Two count. Bobcat barely gets out of that. He, you know, at this point, it is a, it's a three on two match. What we're looking at, folks. Those numbers game with the Inquisition definitely playing in their favor. I'd say it's a three-on-one match because, <laughs> I don't know, Bobcat and... Oh! Huge oh! steal from Bobcat out of nowhere. That could do it if he gets at him. Fro jumping up and down on that apron, desperately trying to get in. He's in. There's been... Taekwondo Fro's in the game. Revs in two, ducks under. Huge kick. Those educated feet in a shoot. Oh, that's a shoot. Oh, now he's got both Inquisition Woo! in trouble. They're in the in the uh, in the corners. Oh, big elbow, what huge elbow, that? and a gritty into an elbow. Oh my what God! What is I'm... this? The referee needs to get some order in here. This is not legal. For the first time in a 907 ring, we see a gritty into an elbow. Courtesy of Taekwondo. Oh no! Oh, that did not work out how he planned. 
Reverend with the with some snake eyes right on onto that turnbuckle. Stopping any momentum throw happening. Oh, oh, right. That's it, that's their new finisher. Last right's out of nowhere. And he's done. Didn't have what it took. The wrestlers on high, my good friends. My good friends, Lovejoy, Deacon Christopher, and the Reverend Theric Divine, victorious as they should be. Oh, well, thank you for calling me champ. I'm glad you know my professional title, Skipper.